Welcome to this week's W2O 11 Weather Impact. I'm meteorologist Matt Willoughby, and with the colder weather likely rolling in as we go throughout the next couple of weeks, and we start to sprinkle in even colder weather as we get closer to winter's chill, well, we think it is a perfect time to at least break down how does frost form on plants and crops? So we do have that frost potential likely as we go throughout the next couple of weeks. And we did see that this past week as well and likely going to see those frost conditions. So how exactly does that form? So we have to definitely break down the signs for you and at least help you understand why this happens. So how does frost form? Typically, if you have that temperature right at 36 degrees and that's that air temperature, well, typically we measure that about five feet off the ground. But as you drop down, at least cold air starts to sink. And typically you can see that air temperature around 36 degrees, but that ground temperature about four degrees colder at 32 degrees. So with that, we have moisture in the air. And when those molecules and water moisture and water molecules are in the air, well, that drops down to that ground surface and at least on contact touch those frozen surfaces. And that's when we see those ice crystals and frost form on those plants and crops. So typically if those crops are already at around 32 degrees with that ground being a little colder than that air temperature, well, if you have that moisture in the air, that pretty much creates at least that frost on the ground. So typically in the morning or even during the summer mornings, you'll start to see that dew on the grass. Well, that's pretty much what frost is. But when it gets cold, well, that dew on the grass will become in fact, uh, that frost that we do see and freeze that we do see on those crops and plants. Now, as you break this down, the perfect recipe for some favorable conditions when it comes to frost and freeze, well, you need the clear skies and also the light winds. So typically when you see those clear skies, it's going to be a colder night, but also those light winds as well, really going to help for that frost to form. If it is at least strong winds, that frost really not going to be able to stay or these those water molecules not really going to be able to stay on those uh, grass services and also on those plants plants and crops, but also moisture and air. That's really going to be those water droplets that helps that frost and freeze form on those crops and plants and temperatures likely into the thirties. That's one of the main components with that and also moisture on the ground. So you really need that moisture and colder temperatures and likely uh, those colder temperatures and moisture throughout the air for that mixture of frost and freeze. So typically we see our average first frost into mid October throughout Northwest Ohio into Southeast Michigan, typically around Around early October, you see that first frost in a northern Michigan, but we're actually right on time for our first frost. Now, as you look along lakeshore areas, though, typically we see those warmer conditions due to that lake still being a very warm, and it does take a little bit longer for that lake to cool down. So therefore, those lakeshore temperatures and lakeshore areas really going to be a little bit warmer. So that's why it takes a little bit longer at least for those uh, temperatures to cool down and have that frost possible. So around those lakeshore areas, you'll see likely that frost or average first frost typically around late October. Now, when we talk about frost versus freeze, typically those frost conditions do develop around 36 degrees. When we talk about a freeze, that's more of that harder, at least a freeze than frost. That's around 32 degrees and we can see a hard freeze where temperatures will drop anywhere below 32 degrees, likely on 28 degrees is when you typically see that hard freeze. And that could really be detrimental to many crops and plants. You do see when you do have a hard freeze. So when we talk about that freeze versus frost advisory. Well, typically when you have a freeze warning, which we did have this past week, where temperatures are going to forecast below 32 degrees for a long period of time and plants left outside, it may be damaged or killed. Of course, that frost advisory, though, this means the area will likely have some frost occurring, but it is going to be at least a sensitive to that vegetation and plants will likely be left outside, maybe killed or damaged when it comes to that frost advisory. Now we take a little bit of a climate angle to this. We're seeing at least uh, some nights, at least night below 32 degrees. We're actually starting to see that drop a little bit. Of course, due to climate change and our warming climate out there, we're starting to see further days and further nights where we see a temperatures below 32 degrees. So since 1970, actually, we've seen a drastic decrease in temperatures and nights below 32 degrees and the time and out and pretty much fact tech that we've seen about 31 fewer days where we've seen nights below 32 degrees. We could break this down a little bit more when it comes to the climate. We're talking warmer fall nights. We've seen about a four degree increase throughout Toledo. That is 
Well, we've seen warmer conditions over the night, likely less freezes, which will cause likely that average first frost to be a little later. And that's what we exactly what we have right now. Typically, we see the average first frost around October 4th. Well, this year we saw it likely around October 15th or 16th. So let's break this down, at least how to protect your plants. Well, to cover your plants with at least a blanket before nightfall gets here, that's gonna be a really big key to at least protecting your plants. Also, add mulch. So the mulch is really gonna at least act as insulation for that soil and your plants to stay a little bit warmer, almost as if it's a at least inside blanket within those plants that's really gonna keep them warmer. That's the same case with the blanket does, but that mulch is likely gonna be a more effective way to keep your plants away from a frost. And lastly, at least bring those plants inside if you can. Typically your house is going to be significantly warmer and also going to help with that frost conditions as well. So that's going to be a really big thing to help keep your plants at least safe and also your crops safe as you go throughout these fall months where we typically can get those frost and freeze warnings and those frost nights as we go throughout not only October, but also as we go throughout early November as well. So this is one of the key things we like to talk about around this time of year. Also, we'll have another chance of this to talk about this when it comes to springtime when we do have those planters starting to get ready for the fall season or at least the summer season when it comes to planting and of course that frost will be a danger to all those crops and plants. Thanks for joining us this week for this week's W2O 11 weather impact. I'm meteorologist Matt Willoughby. Thanks for watching.